Virgo. I almost forgot. <laughs> hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your June 1st through 15th love reading. Okie dokie, smoke it. Smoke it. Some of you probably smoke. That's why that came out. If you're a smoker. <laughs> Okie dokie, smoke it. All right, let's see. What's going on with my Virgos and love? Spirit and universe. What's going on with my Virgos and love? Thank you. Ooh, fire energy right off the bat. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. This person could probably have the distance between you guys, like, and you're feeling a little burdened by always having to constantly go see them or them you. But every time you guys are together, there's passion. So, five of wands reversed. You're no longer wanting to spy on this person or them you. You gave up spying on them. You were probably with this person before, but something happened and you guys are not talking anymore. Okay? Or you guys are giving each other the silent treatment, and with the chariot reverse, none, you're not making the the move to. You probably don't want to go back to this person, or you're just tired of traveling back and forth to see them, or neither one of you is making a decision or a choice to end this, or to keep this going. There's just silence. Like I said, there's a silent treatment. You guys are not speaking your mind. And with the um, knave of pentacles reversed. There's, it's like an unstable relationship is what I'm seeing. Unstable, okay? And then look at that, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords reversed, something happened where you were crying and shit. And now you're just like, I'm done crying, I'm over crying. I don't want to spy on them anymore, fuck it. Let's just leave it as is and not say anything. Could be with the fire sign or an Aquarius Libra Gemini. Either that or you have two people to choose from. Either them or somebody else or you're probably somebody's second choice and you're just like not having it anymore. Then we have the strength card. Okay. Look within. You have the strength to walk away from this situation. Or you're finding the strength to walk away because, yeah, there was a lot of passion shit. But, like I said, it took you a lot of strength to, and a lot of crying, to get out of this energy right here so it's like you're more into spirituality you're having the strength to move on to better yourself you're holding on tightly <laughs> you're holding on tight like to something you're not necessarily telling him you want to let him go because maybe maybe the sex is really good it's like this is not a tree actually this is a penis <laughs> Maybe you're holding too tightly onto the D. <laughs> you're holding on way too tight. <laughs> wow. Come on, you're hugging trees all along. You're hugging the penis. <laughs> Let go of the penis. <laughs> that shit's so funny. Veins and all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, something happened where, look at, tower reversed. Something happened where you're just like, there was betrayal, there was freaking 
three third party situation or there was cheating or you were someone's third wheel or them you and you're no longer wanting to deal with that shit okay someone caught feelings and they just can't deal with it anymore but the sex is good that's why you still holding on to the day <laughs> oh shit okay so you have the seven of, seven of earth someone's going to be getting a message either through text message email whatever it is like you're thinking about telling them how you feel without actually saying it to them in their face it's like you wrote something but you haven't pressed send yet and you're going back to to read all the text messages and everything you guys ever wrote to each other and you're evaluating everything and you're just like in your little detective mode and you know how people get Ay, mama mia. Mm -hmm. look at that three of air which is also three of swords this person you're feeling like you just you're mentally you just can't handle it anymore. It's tiring. It's exhausting. You can't stop thinking about them either. As bad as you don't want to, you don't want to think about them because it makes you feel cold. There's a lot of heartache. This was someone who knew how to love you. Then you had the Knight of Water here. Knight in shining armor. This could be that person you were dealing with or a new love coming in. They could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Someone who's going to come in and sweep you off your feet and rescue you from this relationship. Or vice versa. Alright, let's pull a Romance Angel card. See what's going on with my Virgos. Maybe you know it's all just sex. Maybe you're just like, eh, you know what, let's just let's just make it all sexual. No emotion anymore. Maybe that's why you're holding too tight to the D. <laughs> I can't get over that. She's like <laughs> hugging the fuck out of that shit. <laughs> oh my god. Shit. Oh man. Look at that. Give your relationship a chance. If you want to work on it, go ahead, work on it. But you guys need to speak. You can't be stuck like this all the time, not speaking, giving each other the silent treatment. What kind of shit is that? That's only good for like a day or a few hours, but come on. Work on your partnership. If you love the D that much, come on. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I cannot. Uh, wow. Either that, if you don't want to work on that, then someone new will come in. Look at that. Past life relationship. You've known this person before. Could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces who might be coming in from your past too. Mm, never know. Whispers of Love Oracle for my Virgo. Get to know each other. It says, learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. <laughs> Make sure you're fulfilling their needs. Make sure they're fulfilling your needs. And there's a balance. Make sure one's not giving more than the other and vice versa. Okay. Whether that's this new love coming in or the current one that you're in that you're giving that fucking silent treatment with on. Jesus Christ. Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Yeah, if you really have deep feelings for this person, you will work it out. Okay? Like it says here, people go through up and downs all the time. Okay? You go through your tower moments. You go through your heartache. You talk about it. You work it out. 
So if you want to work and give your relationship a chance, there you go. Okay. All right, Virgo, this was your, ah, this was your love reading for June 1st through 15. I can't believe we're like halfway through the year. That's so crazy. That just blows my mind. That just blows my mind. All right, well, I will see you guys soon. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, take a deep. <laughs>